Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. I am Kanti Ray. Today I'm going to show you another tutorial and tech video. You know my channel always help other people to solve their problem. If you have any problem regarding any tech problem, just comment below so I can know and can help you solve that problem. Today I'm going to show you an exciting exciting video. So let's tune up and please watch the video until the end. Press like button for the YouTube algorithm and comment and comment and comment. Few months ago, maybe the one year ago, I created one video about how to install macOS on a blank SSD and that video went more than thousand view. Wow, it's really great. I'm very happy about that. So today we are going to show you different way because that way some people were having some problem because some people having problem with the internet connection to download that Mac OS. If you doesn't have, I mean if you bought a MacBook, old MacBook and it doesn't have any hard drive, you can use some friend's MacBook and their Mac OS device. So install to install that Mac OS on a hard drive. We're going to use that MacBook and that hard drive we already connected that hard drive in USB port and straight away we'll go inside the computer screen and we'll start the process so let's tune up first of all we have to format that hard drive we already installed there we have to clean the hard drive so first of all you have to go to the system preference and we can type here disk utility disk disk utility if you couldn't find here we'll just go to the start menu sorry launch pad we'll go to the launch pad and type disk utility after that we'll see here different hard drive here one hard drive here one hard drive here this is the internal hard drives we're not going to use anything with the internal hard drive we're going to use that external hard drive and then we'll create on click on erase then we'll press max extended journal and we'll give a name say mac os mac os catalina so because we are going to install the catalina on that hard drive then we'll just click click on erase and we'll wait until it's going to process if you help if I'm helping just press the like button and comment below to get more and more utility tips and troubleshoots about computer any kind Windows Mac Android anything you can ask me so we already formatted that hard drive now we will go to uh, start I will open the Safari and we'll search Mac OS cloning software here the cloning software we'll just click on the first link and you can see in that in that article it's really nicely explained how to do this cloning but you don't have to read that big article I'm just showing that article here so it will help you with that we're going to use that software name is super duper so we'll just go down and I'm going to anyway I'm going to put the link on the description so you can find the software very easily so we'll just click on super duper click on there it's absolutely free you don't have to pay anything for that software if you pay $27 that give you the updates and lots of other features but we are going to use that just one time so we are not going to use that software again and again if I am helping you just press the like button and comment so I'll, I'll click on the download button here very tiny it's you can see here you just click on download button and we'll click allow then it will start downloading then we'll click here and we'll see it's already downloaded super duper so we're just going to double click on that to install then we'll click on agree 
hope you like my video if you like my video and if you help you with the with the tips and tricks please like my video and press the like button and comment so we i can know what you needed in my in my next video i can i can create that video so we'll just follow the steps we'll just follow the step one by one then the software is going to be opening okay this, this is just um, help we're not going to use that help here here after installing the software you need to authorize something so we'll just open the open security because a Mac OS now become more and more secure so you have to click on here to unlock then we'll click on add a plus sign you can see we click on add or we can just drag and drop that super drive here We'll just drag and drop there super drive or we can just add and then we can just click on super drive and super drive here we we'll just click on open we don't really have to install that software anyway it's saying you want to quit we we'll just click on quit now so you don't have to really install the software you can in, you can use the software from the archives so we'll just double click and open again because you already give the permission to use use that software and allow access to our hard drive and change modification on our hard drive you can see so now we are going to copy from the source drive this is the source drive and this is the destination drive so we are going to select the source drive from here we are going to copy the mac os hd data whatever is there the main hard drive the internal hard drive and two we'll click mac west catalina whatever we wanted to create and just click on copy now then again password Then it say you're about to erase Mac OS Catalina. Do you want to erase? Yes, we already erased that. So we'll just click on copy again. And convert to AAPS. Okay, so it will going to take a little bit of time. Just I wanted to say you that thank you very much for watching. If you like my video and if I help, press the like button and comment and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Please subscribe and check the link below i'll put the software link on the below so you can download the software and use the software so you don't have to use any internet you can use your friend's internet and you just download the software from there and copies his or her hard drive to your new hard drive so it's really easy and you don't have to wait an hour i'm sometimes it takes more than an hour to install the mac OS on a hard drive from the recovery decks or why what i said in my last video that all control uh, sorry on um, command shift con, com, command shift option r you go to recovery option and you install the software from there this is kind of little bit too much time and this one is simple you just go there and download the software and copy the hard drive just clone the hard drive whatever in the hard drive they have your hard drive will be same all the software also going to be transferred on that hard drive even the files too but later it will be better for you to use that way so we'll wait and after complete the process pull back Five minutes we have came back 
and it's done it's so simple you just click once and that's all you don't have to worry about anything so it's here on our computer screen it say although you can continue to use the use this part of the super drive for free we hope you will consider registering the register version give you many additional features as a smart update which can cut hours of your updates or copying time you register also funds continued development which help make super drive a better product so if you wanted to register you can register if you feel helpful with that software just help them i'm not recommending anything i'm i'm not sponsored by them either so this is that's so all we'll just click on later because i'm not going to register right now i'll just click on later then you see here preparing to copy file that has been already done copy system file done copy file done after successful copy that's also done we'll just click on okay that's all that was that now we're going to see if we able to restart the computer and and we can run the operating system from that external hard drive you can see here we install the mac OS catalina it's there that drive so we are going to restart the computer pressing alt button and then we'll see if it start or not if we wanted to if we wanted to start from an external drive we always have to press option or alt key in our keyboard to choose the option from which drive we wanted to boot our operating system that's you keep in your mind so i'm just going to press all drive and i'm going to use my cell phone to record that video we're seeing that it just restarted now it's going to restart a little bit of time not much time but it will restart eventually okay here we can see the three option recovery mac and mac OS catalina mac hd this is one is the internal hard drive and recovery and the mac OS catalina this two is external hard drive we are going to choose the mac OS catalina and then we are going to just press enter or return key on our keyboard we can see it's starting from our hard drive so it was so simple if help that video with you press the like button and comment and subscribe if you didn't subscribe yet so that's all for me I'm so happy today because uh, day before I got a donation from one of my subscribers it was so nice it feels like I got 10 million it's it's just it's a very little amount but it was so generous so gracious to have somebody help you know it's so 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 feel so happy I'm so happy <laughs> okay we'll wait and we'll see how it's come out it takes a little bit of time because it's not SSD it's just an external hard drive and mechanical hard drive always take a little bit of more time and also it's running from USB port USB 3 so we'll see what happened and just wait a little bit just a little bit not much just wait a little five more minutes three more minutes and um, please comment below and if you didn't subscribe please subscribe and I'll keep the link below to download that software so you can go to the link and you can download obviously so I'm now here more about five years outside India and it was always my dream to stay outside of India and I achieve it so I'm going to from tomorrow I'm going to start more motivational video and what you call self-development self-help video those kind of video hopefully help you so I'm going to post from tomorrow and we'll tune you up with that video and if you like and you share with other people that will help me After waiting for a few minutes, we can see the computer already turned on. I will just press the password. So 
so that's all for the video today after booting from the drive the computer has been run from the hard drive it's a little bit slow because it's running from the USB port and you see it's now starting it's rooting for the USB port and it, it, this hard drive is now ready to install in any any computer I mean any Mac computer you can just upgrade it you don't have to have problem with the smart drive problem there is lots of problem when you freshly install sometimes it's a little bit of tricky so that's all for now today my friend hope you like the video if you like the video please please subscribe and press the like button and comment below what kind of video you wanted to know from now and um, from now I'm going to start some motivational video on my channel so it will help you uplift it in that bad lockdown situation thanks you hope to see you again bye bye and be safe